Why? Nope. Rejected. Too sad. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jen. And I'm Chris. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. Today we are on site of our next big project. This video is going to be part one of a barn renovation series where we're going to share with you all the projects that we're working on here on our barn. It's been a long time of dreaming, planning, and saving, and it's finally time to get it started. Yeah. So, so let's talk about the barn. To give you guys a little bit of background. Oh wait, first the horses want to say hi to us. They're like, why are you on the roof? Hey TJ. So to give you guys some background, this barn was built when our house was built, which was the year 1987. And as far as we can understand, this roof is pretty much original to the barn. So that would put it at a little over 30 years old. Um, so it's get cozy, it's so nice and warm. So looking at the shingles and the condition of the shingles, it's clearly deteriorating. We have a lot of shingles that have ripped off, a little bit of leaky areas in some spots. And so it needs to be replaced. It's ready to be replaced. So our plan here on Ground Zero for the first project of the <laughs> barn is to install a brand new metal roof over top of the existing asphalt shingles. And that is going to obviously provide a lot of durability and beauty over the years. It's also going to allow us to prepare for the installation of solar on our barn. Yeah, we're going solar. We talked about this in one of our very first videos. Yeah, probably like fifth or sixth video maybe. Yeah, I'll put it in the cards above if you want to watch us when we are just getting started yeah. on YouTube. Um, but So we're going to have a solar company come out once we finish with the roof. They're going to be installing 20 solar panels. It's going to be a little bit lower than a 7 kW system and it's going to be enough with the net metering to the utility to cover our entire electric usage for the year. Before we get started on the largest project for this barn renovation, which is the roof, we're actually going to be installing a dormer on the front portion of the roof of the barn. And what a dormer is, is it's basically an outcropping from the roof that gives you a little more space inside, but it also allows us to install a door into the roof. And up there on our second floor is actually our hayloft. And so by installing the dormer, we're going to have a lot easier access to the hayloft, but it's also going to add a lot of curb appeal and character to the front of the roof and really increase just the, the beauty of it. And that was Jen's idea, <laughs> not my idea, but I am implementing it. <laughs> so the other major modification that we're gonna be making to the front of the barn is actually relocating the current entrance as it is. So you can see right now, the barn is actually like a garage door style and it's skewed to the left of the front of the building. What we wanna do is center it up in front of the building and install a double sliding door so that it slides out to both sides. And what that'll do is it'll line up the main door with the main aisleway in the rest of the barn, allowing us to have a straight shot down the barn with any equipment or animals or anything like that. It's also going to look a lot more pleasing from the outside, having it symmetrical, and it's just going to be a bit easier for us and more, and more functional. We're actually planning on painting the barn white, and we're going to do some black trim, we're going to do natural wood doors, and 
We're gonna do a small portion of corrugated metal siding down at the bottom portion of the barn, which will serve to protect the white paint from obviously getting dirty when it rains, but it will also protect the wood that's close to contact with the ground from rotting. So before you guys get upset at us for changing the color red of our barn, because it's so classic and everything, we're going for a totally new look. We're going to have windows in the barn doors that we build. We're gonna have a window on each side of the main barn door. Um, it's gonna be a totally new look. We're really excited about it. We, we like veering from the norm and you know just trying to go for projects and do things the way that we enjoy them. Subject at hand. That's looking rough. <laughs> yeah, it's all in need of a little TLC, that's for sure. It's it's a strong barn. It's yeah. got good bones, but there's a lot we can do to make it better for us. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking about a barn from the 1800s or anything like that. This, like I said, it's only 30 years old. So the structure is mainly intact. It just needs some upkeep. Also, we have a pond. Have we ever shown you our pond? It's our seasonal pond. This is my favorite angle of the barn, actually. And I'm really excited to watch it change as we go through the renovation process. I love this, just like this great big peak. I just love the way this looks. Yep, that's pretty much it. I think once this project's finished, the thing I'm most looking forward to it's being able to just see straight through the barn once we center that door and being able to look straight out from here and seeing those big willow trees in our front yard. And then when I come up to the barn from the other direction, just seeing the great big pastures and the trees out in the very back of our property. So just having that like sense of a great wide open space. As part of our overall farm renovation, we're also planning on painting most or all this fencing, hopefully this year. So we have a big wooden fence around the horse pasture, but we also have unpainted fencing around our goat areas as well as our chicken runs. So there's going to be a lot of painting upkeep this summer. So here's another shot of our roof from down below. Um, I don't know if you can see any of the imperfections from down here, but that's essentially where our solar system is going to get installed. That's pretty much it. We're really excited about it. Well, friends, thanks so much for joining us today to learn more about our plans for our barn. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for future videos in the series. This is going to be drawn out over multiple months, so you guys will get to see the, see the progress as we go, um, slowly but surely. Yeah, we have no idea when we're gonna be able to share the big reveal with you guys, but Hoping at least in the next year. It's really fun to be able to bring our plans and hopes for our farm to this YouTube community. We hope this project can serve as some form of inspiration to you guys, maybe give you some ideas as to things that you might like to do to your barn on your property, um, but also just give you the inspiration to be able to tackle projects on your own and recognize that with just a little bit of research and general understanding of tools and things like that, you can do accomplish a lot. Yeah, a lot of bit of research and a lot of tools. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe a little bit more than a little bit of research. <laughs> and definitely don't start working on a roof until you've done a lot of research because <laughs> it's dangerous. Yes. We are going to hop on down <clears throat> from this roof and enjoy the rest of our weekend, which is ending very quickly. Coming to a close. I know. 
We're so excited to share it with you guys. We can't wait to continue sharing videos on this topic. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can see them when we post them. And if you're excited about our renovation, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share that with us because we would love to see what you guys have to say about it. We'll see you next time, guys. See you guys. Bye.